Hey everyone, what's up? How you doing? I'm Loris, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this. Well, it's, it's like a little bit different though. So this is the starter house that I built for my survival Let's Play series called Bad Times, and a bunch of you guys wanted a tutorial for it, but some of the design was a bit jacked like on the side. So I've tweaked the design a bit and made it a little bit more resource friendly. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. I've chosen oak for this, but you could use any kind of wood. Uh, this will be our floors and other decorations. You're gonna need full blocks, slabs, stairs, uh, some trap doors, and doors for the white aspect of it we're going to use quartz now in the survival world i actually use white concrete for this uh for the full block because that was way easier for me to get um as it was a side house but yeah feel free to use whatever you want as long as it's white um and then quartz has the slabs and the stairs so that's kind of a necessity there uh, a little bit of diorite uh, and then for the color uh, i'm using yellow for this tutorial again you can use any color you want uh, and for the roof cyan terracotta which is kind of a hard thing to get if you're starting out and doing survival so Again, any kind of like roof block, you could use stone or anything like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out a 13 by 19 box. Now 13 is the front and 19 is gonna be the sides. Then with the smooth quartz, we're gonna come in, we're gonna go up two, leave one block gap, go up two, leave a two block gap, go up another two, and then zoom all the way to the end, go up another two. Then on the top block, we're just gonna fill that in all the way. Actually, we're gonna skip these ones here and then put down the wood on the bottom just like that now let's shoot around the back we're gonna go one two skip three one two one two three skipping three and then just like that uh and same as the other side we're gonna fill in these ones on the top and put our wood down just like that now coming around the sides we're actually gonna go skip three again go up two fill that in and on the other side put down some wood Okay, so now we need to make some additions to the front deck. So on the short side, on the left, we're gonna come back one, two, three, and on the fourth one, just connect it up like this. And on the long side, we're gonna do five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. On the sixth one, put down two more quartz blocks, fill on the top like that, and stairs down the bottom. So that is the basic, uh, these are the decks, uh, and now we need to connect the sides from the, the back to the front, front to the back. All right, now let's add some stairs. Come out one and add them there. And go up just like that. And on the back, so we're gonna go one, two, three, three, and then come up one just like that. And that is the basic shape of the house. Now we just need to go and fill this in with oak. So now starting at the front, I wanna come in and add some walls. So if we come around to the left side here, we've got this uh, little part that comes up. Let's go up six more. Awesome, and now if we come around the other side to the other little pole here, let's go up again six on this side. Now to connect them up, we're going to come across one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back two, and then across to this one, just like that. There should be five there. Now we're going to stack this shape up five more blocks so it's in line with the quartz. Now let's add in the door. If we come up these steps and just break out a two by three area, this will be our door, but we want to make it a little bit wider. So let's take out another row on each side. We're going to go quartz up just like that. Uh, and then we're going to do stairs like so and then we're going to do stairs on the, each side and then a slab in the middle in behind here we're going to go trap door trap door just like that and then walk forward and put down two oak doors just like that and that is the door and for the window we're just going to do a three by three space right here let's go up three with the quartz and then put in a slab like that we're not using glass it's a little bit different um mobs can't get in there you can't get out so it's like a no one can get in, no one can get out, except through the doors. So that's the front done, let's do the back. Same thing, we're going to come up six again, either side. But the difference with this one is it's just straight. Once you've done that, you can come in and add the door. We're going to go three by three again. Uh, come in with the full blocks just on the side there. Uh, and then I'm going to put a stair upside down, one either side, not in the middle. And like that. And then finish off with a oak door in the middle and that should be your back door then what you want to do is just fill in the sides so far we have our front door window and back door now if we come around the side to the right here we're just going to pop in one quick window and that'll finish off this whole first layer just like that the exact same design as this one over here all right now let's work out this front veranda if we come to the left side and we stack up six more just like that uh, let's do that on the right side as well now we're going to come either side of the stairs and go up six as well once you've got that done, you're gonna to wanna to come and connect it along the top.
When you've done that, fill it in. And now for the fun part. Take your quartz stairs and come to the left side and go on the very top uh, smooth quartz block. You're going to place upside down stairs, upside down stair, upside down stairs. And just leaving a one block gap in between each one, doing it all the way around and on this side as well. Once you've done that, you're going to come in with your smooth quartz slab and just fill in all the gaps, just, just like that. Now if we come back around the left side, we're going to go upside down stair there, upside down stair there, and a slab in the middle. Uh, this side, we're just going to do a slab there. Uh, actually, and just slabs here. Uh, for this one, we're going to go upside down stair, upside down stair, and then put some slabs in between, just like that. And same on this side, upside down stair, upside down stair, and then slabs in between. Last thing we need to do is the railing. So let's go slab here, upside down stair like that, and then slab there, slab here. This one, it's a little bit tricky. Let's go slabs all the way across. And then we're gonna break out this one right here. We're gonna go stair backwards like that. And then we need to break out this one. So if we go one, two, break out that second one, and that'll be the railing for that. Same for this one. Let's just go slabs all the way across. And we'll break out this the second one here on that side and then second one in break it out and put your, your stair there and that is the railing so that is the deck for the front it's a little bit complicated but i hope you followed it along uh, just nicely and let's finish off with putting uh, a, a full block here a full block here and a little slab on top and that is the front entrance let's do the back let's come to this corner go up six let's go across three up six across three up six and on this right corner now up six now let's connect it all, all on the top. Fill it in. Fancy bits. Finish off the fancy bits all the way around. Put in the archways. Upside down there, upside down there. Slab in the middle. Same on every single one. And now for the railing. You guys can do this however you want to, but I'm doing it like this. You could put a full block here, just like that, if you wanted to. Or um, put the stair on this side like that it's really up to you i'm just doing it like this put these suckers in and now that is the whole first layer done great work everyone you do you're really doing a good job let's build up the second level let's start at the front and come up to the left hand side now we're going to come to this pole that we put in here and we're going to come in uh, and make sure that it's built on top of it so not on top of this little decoration but on top of the actual beam and we're going to got five so one two three four five uh, and do that on this corner as well up five and on this corner as well, which is uh, the same thing here. So this pole goes up and then these decorations come out the side. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna fill in with yellow concrete all the way around, lifting it up so it goes five blocks all the way up. Let's pop in a couple windows. So we're gonna come up by one block and then it's again, just a three by three little space. Now for the back of the house, we're just gonna come up and do almost the same thing, but keep it straight. So up by five. Fill it all in, and then come and pop in some windows. Cool, and that's the back. Now for this side, it's blank. We're gonna come and do something here later, but let's just fill it in for now. Window. So that's the whole second level done. This is where it starts getting tricky, so make sure you're paying attention. Starting at the front, we're gonna place a ring of smooth quartz all the way around the top. But on this blank wall here, we're only gonna come in by four. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna leave that blank. Actually, no, let's fill it in right now. Now let's come in with our stairs and slabs and place them all the way around. So that should look something like that. Now we're going to take this one and turn it into a tower. So keeping in line with this pole here, we're going to come in uh, one from each side and take it up another five. Now over here where the stair is, upside down stair, we're just going to place uh, five more going up right there. Uh, and that is going to become the tower. Let's fill it in. All right, let's let's just fill this whole thing in. Um, you probably don't need to do this, but just for the sake of the tutorial, let's just do it. Uh, and then up five from there. There you go. So let's put a window here and window here. Okay, that'll do for now. What I want to do next is finish the roof off on this lower level here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cyan terracotta, we're going to go up by two, and place it all the way along. So we get to the corner. At the corner, we're going to put up our smooth quartz and then we're going to continue the cyan terracotta all the way along again. At this corner, I'm just going to come up by two with the smooth quartz. Take that all the way around until uh, you get to here. And it should look something like that. Then we're going to go up another layer, but we're going to come in one this time. 
and do the same thing again at the corner we're just going to do it with the smooth quartz Now once you've got that done, we're going to do a layer of smooth quartz the whole way around. Um, so this should be three blocks high by now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a diorite wall on this very corner like that. Uh, and then do one on this corner as well. Same thing on this side. There and there. Here and here. And that. We'll do that. Now to fill in the roof, I'm going to use andesite slabs. You could use anything. I know I didn't mention this in the materials earlier, but I just kind of thought it looked good. It also stops mob spawning up here, so that means you don't have to cover it in carpet which is what I've been doing in my survival world. Okay, so we're very close to finishing now. The last thing we need to do is get this tower going. So let's do a layer of smooth quartz the whole way around like we've been doing on the other levels and we'll add some decorations. So just like below, we're gonna go stairs, upside down like that, the whole way around. Okay, now for the last stretch, we're just gonna come up on the corners. We're gonna go up by actually just one, just one the whole way around. Uh, and then we're gonna fill in that gap with the cyan terracotta. Then you're going to need to put down a placeholder block and you're going to get your smooth quartz go up three this time. Uh, we can knock that out and again just go all the way around with this. Once you get to the corner it's just smooth quartz up and so that should be the shape that goes all the way around. For the last level we're just going to do the same thing placeholder block and then go up by three. Uh, knock that out again. We're just going to put in two there uh, and then do something like that. So you should get a bit of a, I don't know, what is that, an N? Once that's all done, we're just going to take our diorite walls and just go up like that three times on each corner. Now you don't have to do this, but you can replace these uh, quartz blocks on the top with stairs like this and create like a little bit of a, I don't know what you call this, like a little platform and then put a slab here. That's, I don't know, that's the thing. And we're almost there. The last thing we got to do is finish this little side jut out piece. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in uh, one, two, and on that second one, I'm going to put a stair right there. Same on this side, you're going to come one, put a stair right there. Let's then put in some uh, oak planks in the middle, get our stairs again, come out all the way along. Now that should be the basic shape. Let's get some of our yellow concrete, and we're going to do a row all the way around, just like that. Then what we're going to do on this block here, you're going to come up by three with the smooth quartz block. Then we're going to come across one, go up another three, come across one, go up another three. And then on this side, it should be another three, and it'll look something like that. Then we get our slabs all the way around like that on the tops and this is going to look like our windows <laughs> let's get our yellow con uh, concrete and go across all of the tops of them just like that um, getting our smooth quartz and doing one more layer now from here we take our stairs we're going to go one there skip this block one there one there one there skip this block and one there then slabs slab 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 on the top we're going to go um, so take the stair that we added in, let's go across one, slab there, slab there, slab, 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 slab. And then we'll just do full blocks the whole way along like that. And that is it. That is it done. You'll need to come inside and knock out the wall here so it actually connects. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, you have completed the house. Good on you. You should be proud of yourself. From here i just really encourage you to make it your own you know change the color tweak the shape put it into a survival world and put some fields and some roads and some trees you know just explore and enjoy it you know make it your home if you do build this make sure you tag me on instagram or twitter i'd love to see it but that is it for this video guys if you enjoyed it go ahead and land an x crit on that like button uh subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching